hello and good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us uh, today. We are here for an exciting uh, announcement. I know this is a huge tradition for Florida Race Weekend. Uh, and so uh, we're, we're so grateful that we have so many uh, famous people. And by that, I mean actually a famous canine <laughs> with us today. Um, this is going to be a great weekend for racing and revelry right here uh, in the Daytona Beach area. And certainly uh, we have a lot to be thankful for in the great state of Florida. <coughs> But we are never stopping to make sure that we have a stronger and safer state. Uh, and so uh, to that end and to help us accomplish that mission, I am joined today by some special guests. I, I know um, many of the folks with me need no introduction, including our great sheriff, Sheriff Chitwood, our chief of police here for Daytona, Jakari Young. Uh, but we also have NASCAR driver Joey Gase, number 53, with us. Uh, we also have... Uh, the McGruff, the crime fighting dog, and the executive director on the National Crime Prevention Council, uh, Mr. Del Ponte, and we're so grateful uh, that he was here with us. Um, Joey and I just met, uh, but McGruff and I go way back. Uh, I remember McGruff at my school when I was a young one asking us all to help prevent crime, asking us all specifically to take a bite out of crime, uh, warning about drugs, the dangers of them, uh, and what what I am learning about McGruff is you can't keep a good dog down. He is back, back here with us today, back in the race, uh, and my office is announcing today a partnership with McGruff and the National Crime Prevention Council to reach Florida communities, to reach Florida children, their parents, every Floridian uh, who, like me, wants to help prevent crime uh, and to remind and bring back some of the important crime prevention messages from McGruff. And I think we're going to do a great job. I am so excited about our future ventures together, McGruff. Uh, and of course, we are today uh, running with the big dogs. So Joey Gase, uh, really such a godsend to the state of Florida and to this mission. He has offered to help use, use the power of... Uh, what he has done to generate attention in his sport and the excellence of his sport to help bring attention to fighting crime and to helping children and, and to uh, helping folks like the sheriff, the chief of police, myself, uh, as we, we try to keep our states and our communities safe. And today what we want to talk about specifically is counterfeit products and how they can harm our communities, including how that the trade of counterfeit products benefit illicit transnational criminal organizations and cartels. And while it's always important not to buy any counterfeit merchandise, I wanna take a minute to warn kids and parents about a specific counterfeit product that can be instantly lethal. And I am talking about fake pills. So many pills that are being sold on social media that are being pushed by friends uh, among kids contain fentanyl. And we know a very, very small dose of fentanyl can be lethal. And we have known for some time that the age range of 18 to 45, that fentanyl and opioids has been the number one killer. And that is our working age population. But what we have just announced and just released that the fastest growing age group in which they are experiencing overdoses, a just released report shows that fentanyl deaths among kids aged 5 to 14 quadrupled in 2021. In fact, you've heard probably many stories about children who take pills thinking that they are a brand name, Xanax, Adderall, um, or, or a traditional brand name painkiller, and it turns out to be a fake pill laced with fentanyl and it can be lethal. There was one example that I was sharing with those with me earlier of a 14 year old boy in middle school, still played with Legos, still slept with a teddy bear, was a boy scout and uh, took, started taking fake pills, told his parents he was having a problem with it. He got a hold of one and overdosed, he died. 14 year old boy scout. His parents were obviously devastated, his family was, was reeling from this pain and it was because uh, 
he, he took a pill that had enough fentanyl in it to kill four adults. And so the message has never been more timely. And that's why I'm so happy that we have these, these folks and this canine with us today to help spread the message. As a, as a mother of a school-aged child, it, it is terrifying to me to think that these fake pills are being pushed within our young people and at their schools and in our communities. As Attorney General, we have done everything we can think of within the authority of our office to reverse this disturbing trend, and that is where NASCAR, along with McGruff, can help. And together, all of us standing here today are waving the red flag on fentanyl. We are sending a message with every lap that number 53, Joey Gase, makes this weekend during the Xfinity Series race. He will be spreading a very important message. The slogan on his car, go for real, and McGruff's message, McGruff's image will also be on the car, I believe, remind children to never purchase counterfeit goods, especially pills. The DEA recently said that the seized pills that they had confiscated, six out of 10 contained a deadly dose of fentanyl. So think about that number. Of the pills that they have confiscated, six out of 10 were deadly. And that's a 50% increase from 2021. These pills are made to look like brand name prescription drugs, such as common painkillers. Again, it could be Xanax or Adderall, but they are far from real. They are fake and they could be deadly. So kids, if you happen to be watching parents, if anyone offers a pill, if it even looks like it came from a pharmacy or is a brand name, even if it looks like that, if it is not prescribed to you and you do not get it through those uh, methods, don't take it. It could be lethal. Turn it down. Don't even trust it. And then turn it over to a trusted adult. One pill can kill. Taking any drug, even from a friend, can be deadly. So we are so happy to have Joey Gase the National Crime Prevention Council, its executive director, Mr. Del Ponte McGruff, our chief of police, our sheriff, to send this important message this weekend. I look forward to the Attorney General's partnership with the National Crime Prevention Council. We're gonna do great things across the state of Florida to send the message to our kids, their parents, our communities. Crime is everyone's business. We all, to ensure a safe state, a strong state, must take a bite out of crime. McGruff and I will be making more appearances and launching some new uh, exciting campaigns. We will not tolerate lawlessness in Florida. It will not happen here. And working with McGruff, we will be achieving this mission, helping our law enforcement leaders, and we'll all take a bite out of crime. So thank you so much for joining us today. And we're now gonna turn it over to the National Crime Prevention Council Executive Director Paul Del Ponte. Thank you, Attorney General. I thank you for not just inviting us here, but your leadership, um, because Florida is sending an important message today to the rest of the country. And it's one that people should stand up and take notice. Because as every time I come to Florida, I've noticed one thing. Floridians are very hungry. They're hungry to take a bite out of crime. And we need to keep them hungry because crime doesn't taste very good. And there's a lot of work to be done. And people sometimes feel frustrated. They wonder, oh, it's just all those criminals. The police will take care of it. People have the power. It's when people get together and say, we've had enough. We don't want crime in our neighborhood. We don't want crime in our community. When they take action, when they form neighborhood watches, when they do simple things, like remembering to lock their doors. And as she points out, it's important that we tackle 21st century crimes. The sale of fake products is the crime of this 21st century. We have to stop it dead in its tracks. Otherwise, it's fentanyl today, and it's going to get much worse. Uh, Attorney General Moody talked about how much fentanyl is lethal. The sweetener packet. If this was fentanyl, this would be enough to kill 500 adults. That's how easy it is. Six out of 10 fake pills contain a lethal dose of fentanyl. That's play, playing Russian roulette. We can't allow that to happen. Several months ago, the National Crime Prevention Council launched 
lifeproject.org as a digital memorial to, for victims of fentanyl who they can tell, their families can tell their stories, not just tell their stories in memorial, but because they are forever young and they're, we can make meaningful, we can give greater meaning to the tragedy those families suffer. So we have advocacy information and much more everybody can do. Join the effort. The sale of fake products is a $2 trillion industry. Every time you think you're giving money to, oh, it's just a fake handbag, they're just fake sneakers, you're giving money to criminals. Those same fake goods go to support MS-13 gangs, the sale and trade of counterfeit drugs, including fentanyl. It, they are run by inter international cartels. The sad thing is, we, in this country, we celebrate entrepreneurism. Criminals are entrepreneurs, but they're illegal. And we don't want, every time you buy a fake product, you're giving, you're putting money in the hands of criminals. Our Go For Real project is done in partnership with the United States Patent and Trademark Office, who works to keep us safe, keeps our intellectual property safe. The sale of counterfeit products hurts our economy, it hurts jobs, it's taking jobs away from Floridians. And so we're just delighted. We are on a national effort to introduce McGruff to a new generation of crime fighters. McGruff has had a very busy year. He was in Disney's Rescue Rangers, and he is star of uh, two public service announcements now airing across Florida, and much more to come. So this effort across the state of Florida, from the Keys to the Van Andel, we're going to get communities engaged, and Flor Floridians are going to take a bite of their crime. Thanks so much for your leadership. Well, thank you, Paul, and thank you, everyone, for being here today, and Attorney General, for uh, letting us do this and giving the, the support for the Go For Real uh, campaign. Um, it's something that's really important to me as well. Um, I'm a father to two identical twin boys, so uh, everything we talked about today, they're three, they're only two two years away from turning. So that I really hope everyone uh, listens and, and acts the right way. I'm excited to drive the number 53 Go For Real car this weekend here at Daytona National Raceway, and uh, I think McGruff's going to give us some extra luck, and uh, hopefully we can get the win this weekend and uh, get the most out there for promotion we can. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Madam Attorney General. Uh, Joe, you can speed in the track. If you come <laughs> off the track, <laughs> our job is <laughs> <laughs> just to let you know. I want to thank the Attorney General for kicking off this campaign in Volusia County. I think one thing we all know is since the Attorney General has taken office, she has made fentanyl and the distribution of fentanyl in our communities a top priority in attacking this scourge in our community. But I think when you listen to her speak, you not only hear the top law enforcement officer speaking, you hear a mother's perspective. And in this county alone over the last five years, we average over 300 deaths and 12 times that amount of people that are overdosing from fentanyl. And when you hear that, st that scary statistic of five to 14 year olds, think of what's going on in our middle schools and our high schools. Fentanyl is laced in marijuana. It's in Adderall. It's everywhere we turn. So this program is so, so, so important that we get behind the Attorney General, we get behind McGruff, we get behind Joey, and we end this scourge now. So again, Madam Attorney General, thank you so much for getting this Lily Gomez. I too just want to take a moment to thank the Madam Attorney General for taking time out of her busy schedule and also like the Sheriff has already stated for launching this very important initiative here in this county. Um, I just also want to state that as the police chief, I also am fully committed to doing my part here locally and doing whatever we need to do to eradicate the sale of counterfeit pills. I'm also very excited that my childhood hero here, McGruff, is partnering because I think the youth now, they need to be introduced to McGruff because McGruff was very instrumental in just getting me looking at law enforcement itself. So I think this initiative can be twofold. We can do what we need to do as far as eradicating the sale of the counterfeit pills, but also, you know, continue to bridge those bridges in our community uh, through McGruff. So thank you again. Absolutely, Chief. Well, thank you again for being here today. This truly is the beginning of a campaign across the state of Florida to enlist our communities, enlist our children in helping us fight crime. It's never been more important. And we that are 
a little more senior in Florida are so excited to make sure that the children of Florida know and love McGruff as much as we did. So McGruff will be in a community near you soon. We hope that you will welcome him with open arms. Thank you again to all who are with us today. We're gonna take a bite out of crime and let me just end by saying, go number 53, Joey Gase. Well, let me just first ask if anybody had any questions from any of the participants here today. I should have done that before I backed up for pictures. Any questions? Even McGruff will be willing to take a question. <laughs> McGruff, can we hear it from you? Yeah, go here. Go Come on up. Just the one, just maybe one. How do you feel about crime? What should Floridians do? Well, you know, for over 42 years, it's been my pleasure and honor to help educate young people, teenagers, adults and senior citizens. You know, there's always been a fear that there's nothing we can do, but there is. You know, from the very beginning, we have to really stretch the point that crime prevention is everyone's business. It's cost effective, and we can be the eyes and ears to help our local law enforcement, state agencies, and federal agencies. And for 42 plus years now, it's been a pleasure sharing this part. You can help your old pal McGruff. Take a bite out of crime. Rough.